All right, hey, welcome to another brew day. Uh, today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different. I've been having some problems with uh, some of my numbers, specifically in my gravity uh, post boil. Thinking that what's going on is I'm not having a long enough boil, and I'm gonna chalk that up to the fact that I am using 110 electricity now instead of 220 like I was before. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and keep it easy on the beer itself by doing a single malt, single hop, smash beer, um, I'm using Maris Otter and Fuggle Hops, trying to keep it real simple. I don't want to do a big IPA like some people do with this. I want just kind of a simple sparkling ale. Um, so the grain bill is 10 pounds of Maris Otter, and then the hops, I'm doing an ounce and a half of Fuggles at 60 minutes, and then an ounce and a quarter at 30 minutes, and three quarters of an ounce at 15 minutes, and that's it. I'm um, keeping the water profile really simple. I just went with kind of a sweet ale, very little additions uh, to my local municipal water. Um, so all in all, I'm gonna try and keep this really simple. I'm gonna use an SO5 yeast to ferment it. Um, and I'm gonna just watch my boil times and uh, I'm gonna boil until I'm at the gravity I'm supposed to be at, uh, which is 1051. So until I'm there, I'm just gonna boil however long that is. So let's get brewing. All right, we are about 30 days conditioned on this. I think, uh, well, roughly more like 21 days. But you know what? It is tasting delicious. I keep pulling samples uh, to, <laughs> to try. And this thing came out absolutely delicious. It's uh, plain as far as there's no like real depth of flavor from varying the malt or anything. But it came out very nice. It cleared up very nice. You can see that there. Just overall, a really nice looking beer. Um, the color is kind of a golden yellow. As you can tell, I'm sorry, I'm cutting myself off there a little bit. <laughs> color is like a golden color. Um, this was just the Maris Otter. Uh, and then I used Fuggle Hops again. So um, overall, I'm really happy with this beer. Actually, I probably would just change it a little bit on the hop schedule to make it just a little bit less bitter. Um, but some of that is even fading and it's really becoming like a nice, just clean, crisp ale. So yeah, the aroma is really simple. It, it's kind of bready, you know, a little sweet. You can kind of smell the sweetness of the, the Maris Otter, but you know, that's, that's definitely a more bready or grainy. I don't know the right term sometimes. So, but as you can see, I mean, the head on this is actually staying pretty nicely and I didn't do anything it's just Maris Otter, so it's it's actually holding well for a single grain, single malt beer. So, um, yeah, let's just taste it. Yeah, it's clean, little like caramel note um, on it. Um, 
you know, Fuggles don't, they're not known for being a real flavor hop as far as like an IPA kind of hop would be, but it's definitely got a good amount of bitterness to it. You know, it's not anything I don't like. It's, like I said, it's probably just a little bit too bitter for if I was gonna make this like something I, I rebrewed over and over again. Um, yeah. It kind of tastes a little bit, uh, almost like a cream ale, you know, and a little bit like a lager. And so, um, overall, yeah, this is definitely just, it's, I've been drinking it with different kinds of food and it's been pairing well with everything. So, um, I did find out though that I wasn't having issues with my system. I was having issues with the fact that I forgot that oats don't have any of their own diastatic power. And I had done two brews in a row that were using almost all oat. <laughs> and so it wasn't a system issue. It was a forgetfulness issue on my part uh, that oats don't have diastatic power. So this one came out right at 6% on the numbers level. So it's right where it should have been. Um, I fermented it for, I want to say two weeks at 68 with uh, SO5. And then I turned it down to 40 degrees for a week. And then I cold crashed it at 34 for about three days and then kegged it up and I carbonated it, uh, just CO2 for about two days. And then, yeah, then it's been just clearing up a little bit, but now it's, it's in the absolutely drinkable phase and definitely proud of this one. Definitely something that, like I said, I'm going to brew again and maybe adjust the hops just a little bit and make it something that I, I keep around. Well, I'm gonna drink the rest of this. Cheers.